All right, Limey Lou here again. It's my Triumph 800. Looking stunningly beautiful as usual, even though it's right next to the trash. But either way, uh, I made some uh, tool tubes for the bike. I actually made them a while ago. I think I have to find a different paint because every now and again it max off. This is just a sticker I put on. Basically what this is is just 3 inch PVC pipe with the uh, the end cap with the threaded end and the uh, the cap for the end of the pipe. This one here I jammed in there as tight as I could. Stainless steel uh, pose clamps uh, which work out very nice and obviously don't rust. And then I got a brass end plug and actually put a little small thumb screw in here to stop this vibrating out. Uh, the thing works great. Um, just unscrew this a little bit and I found that the actual brass unscrews a lot easier than the PVC ones do and they don't bind up you know with uh, age or temperature or whatever and I, again I just put this thumb screw in here as a backup so that it won't vibrate out and I found out the hard way because I did actually lose one of these and hopefully I didn't catch anybody <laughs> anyway I also made a small one here this is a small two inch PVC tube again I actually strapped it to the engine guard here did the exact same thing and all I keep in here is actually my uh, my nighttime riding goggles um, I did drill a hole in the bottom of here to let any water that might get in drain out but it is uh, actually work quite well and uh, again you know I've got the little thumb screw this locks it in <coughs> and it uh, works quite well so I've got my sunglasses and the small one there and I've got my tool kit in the back there with some odds and ends and you know from the back end almost evens it out as far as the exhaust goes but I wasn't too worried about that and uh, again I love it oh one other thing while I'm here <coughs> I know you can get uh, from Triumph these actual covers here for the frame I actually found a rubber bushing and just basically cut down on the inside of it so that it would fit the hole and that inside there believe it or not is a valve cap for the tire but it uh, looks quite good and uh, both sides you know cost me six bucks and again down here for this large one this is actually a small gasket for uh, a brake reservoir which again fit perfectly in there and uh, I put that on there to to cover that main nut there on the frame too so all in all bit by bit just tidying up odds and ends and uh, the thing is looking great oh one other thing I also put this uh, stainless steel wire mesh over my headlight um, I don't know how much protection it's gonna add to the headlight uh, I don't do much off-roading uh, but it does look pretty cool gives it that uh, fly bug eye look and basically I just took off the, the frame of the light cut the mesh big enough and it just formed itself left the uh, the mesh long enough to fit behind the frame when I screwed it back on and it just compressed on there and it looks neat as hell so anyway <clears throat> just a couple other ideas I had going on I'm gonna have so much crap on this bike by the time I'm done it'll probably weigh five thousand pounds anyway thanks very much thanks for watching